Hello, Lean. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm uh, fine. Wow, that's really nice to know, Lean. Okay, so have you eaten dinner already? Yes, I have a dinner. Very good. Okay, so what did you have for your dinner? I have uh, I have seafood and I have seafood and meat and rice. Wow, that's so yummy. What kind of seafood? Is um, is clam. I'm sorry. Clam. Ham. Yes. Oh, ham. You mean this one? H A M. Ham is uh uh tat. Let me see. Oh, clam. All right. So yes, that's so yummy, lean clam. Very good. Okay, now Liam, look at your book. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Very good. So we'll be talking about neighbors. Okay, so today is divided into three. We will learn vocabulary. You're going to read. I'm going to ask you questions and we'll have a discussion at the end. Okay, now look, listen, and repeat neighbor. Neighbor. Very oh. good. So when we say neighbor, this is um the people that we live close to our uh, house. Opposite my op opposite my house. That's right, next to your house. Okay, so do you have a neighbor? I know that you I know that you have a neighbor, of course. <laughs> do you have a neighbor that's very close to you, Lynn? Yes. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So now, um, are you close to your neighbors too? Like most of them? Yes. Okay. Very good. So now, next we have here close. Okay. So when we say close, close that means you are... Uh, you have a close relationship with them. You are friends with them. You don't fight. Okay, you say hi. Sometimes you share your fruit to them. That's um, close, like close best friend or close neighbor. Okay, now next we have your dependable. Uh, dependable. Very good. So when we say dependable, this is when you can rely on someone. Okay, so I... She is a very dependable best friend. That means you can rely on her. Okay, so do you know someone who is dependable, Lynn? Yes. Wow. So who is dependable it? Uh, is my mom and my dad or my close friend. Very good. Okay, because yes, it's good to know that you can depend on your close friend. And of course, I think all of the parents are dependable. What about you, Lynn? Are you a dependable person? Mm, yes. Oh, I'm so dependable. Very good. Okay, now next we have gossip. 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 Okay, so when we say gossip, this is a very bad trait of someone because they talk behind your back. Okay, without so you knowing. Okay, do you have a neighbor who gossips other people? Uh, in my classroom, I in classroom have one people so gossip many people in my in my class, and I don't like it. 
Yes. Okay, so what do you do if someone gossips you about someone? Mm, your, your people gossip, body charming people are hard work, hard working people. Oh, I see. Okay, so now most of the time when they gossip, they are jealous about you or they are insecure to you. Okay, so there are two ways of gossip. Most of the gossips are bad. Okay, like, um, Lean, look at that girl. You know what? She told me blah, 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 blah. That is a bad gossip. But when we say good gossip, it's like, oh, you know, Lean, she's a very um, talkative student of mine. She's smart. She can answer my questions directly. That's a good gossip. Okay, so how about you, Lean? Do you gossip um, to other people? No, I don't gossip. Wow, very good. Okay. Now, next we have here to be willing to help somebody. To be willing to help somebody. Okay, so when we say you are willing to help somebody, then every time that they call you, you are there to help them. Okay, for example, lean, lean. We don't have food anymore. Don't worry, teacher AM. I'm going to bring food to your house. <laughs> like that. Okay. I now, eat. Next, uh, uh -huh. eating. Oh, you love eating. You, do, you, do you love eating? No, I eat... Um... Mm -hmm. I got count in a rubber band. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Does it hurt? Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. So now, let's continue with the other word. We have to be ready to help somebody. Okay, so when you say you are ready to help somebody, so anytime that they call you, you are going to rescue them. For example, lean, lean. Um, well, I was driving my car, my flat, I know, my tire was flat. Okay, then you would say, oh, don't worry, teacher AM, I'm there to rescue you. So that means you are ready to help somebody. Okay, now next. We have an example here. My, my neighbors, neighbors are always, always, uh, always willing to help me. Okay. So now, what about your neighbors? Are they willing to help you too? Yes. My neighbors always willing to help me. Wow. That's great. Okay, you know what, Lynn? I have a story <laughs> about our neighbors. So there was a time, I think it happened last January, we found a snake in our garden. Like a snake. Yes. And of course, everyone in the house is scared of snakes. So what we did is we asked help from our neighbor. And of course, our neighbor um, helped us willingly without any return okay we didn't give him money but uh he got the snake but he didn't kill the snake so that is an example of willing to help somebody okay now we have here respect respect okay when you respect, respect. someone you honor them okay. yes um so i'm very respect some people wow that's really nice okay so lean i heard you saying i'm very respect some people instead of saying that you can say i'm very respectful to other people respectful to other people i'm uh, very respectful to other people very good okay so now we have here 
we should respect our neighbor's privacy. Now, I'm going to make a sentence using respect. We should always respect our parents and teachers. Now, what's your sentence using respect, Lynn? Um, we should respect our neighbor's privacy. Very good. Okay. Now, this time, Lynn, I'll let you read the article. It's all about land talks about her neighbors. Mm, land talks about her neighbors. I live in the countryside, so I know my neighbors quite well. I think I have very good neighbors. They are really friendly, easygoing, and kind. We are so close and we are willing to help each other, especially in difficult times. So I love my neighbors. We visit each other whenever we have free time, especially in the evening. We hang out and talk to each other about our lives and work. At the weekend or on holidays, we sometimes have a party. Very good. Okay, now Nam talks about his neighbors. Nam talks about his neighbors. I live in a, a big city where all people are very busy, so it is very difficult to see and have a chat with neighbors. It is even impossible to be close to someone in the neighborhood. We only meet and say hello to each other in the morning. Very good. You are such a great reader, Lin. So far, so good. Okay. Most of the words are pronounced correctly and the intonations are all correct. However, there is only one word that you mispronounce. Listen and repeat. Leaves. Oh, no. Leaves. Lives. 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 Okay. So now, let's take a look at this text again. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. So, whose neighbor is willing to help? Hmm. Lan, Lan help. Lan help. Okay, Lan's neighbors are willing to help each other. Very good. Okay, so now what about Nam? Okay, does Nam talks to her neighbor every day? Nam talk. Oh, people are very busy. People to see her return with me. Nam talk. Nam say hello to each other in the morning. Yes. Okay. So the answer is yes. He say hello to each other in the morning. Very good. Um. Very good, Lean. Okay. Now, Lean, I'm gonna ask you question. Here, so what does Len do in the evening to her neighbor? Uh, in evening, Len, Len, in evening, Len is willing to help each others especially in difficult times yes and whenever they have free time they visit each other in the evening all right so now on what days do they have a party with land's neighbor uh, land hang out and talk to each other about our lives and work. 
Very good. Okay, so here at weekend or holidays, they sometimes have a party. Okay, so now who have a very good neighbors? Is it Lan or Nam? Um, I think Lan and Nam. Yes, Two both people. of them. Okay, same both same. of them. That's right. Okay, so now, but what's wrong with neighbor, with Nam's neighbor? Huh? What's wrong with Nam's neighbors? neighbors? Uh, is chat with neighbors. Yes, it's very impossible to be close to her neighbors because everyone is busy because she live in a big city. Okay, now where does Nam, oh no, where does Lan live? Lan live in the countryside. Very good, Lin. All right, now Lin, let's have a review. Oh, no, 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 it's not a review. This is New words and phrases. Words. Okay, now look, listen, and repeat. Know somebody quite well. Know somebody quite well. Okay, so when we say know somebody quite well, that means you know someone a little bit. And that someone is not a stranger to you because you know him. Okay, so now I'm going to make a sentence using that phrase. I know my classmate quite well. What's your sentence? Mm, uh, I don't know. Oh, that's all right. Do you know your uh, English? Uh, no, no. Do you know your science teacher quite well? No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have a science teacher? Science teacher? Yes, yeah, science. Science? Yes. Okay, do you yeah. know her quite well? Her tell. Mm -hmm. Her tell uh, Vietnamese is... I don't know Vietnamese hotel. Oh, okay. That's all right, Lin. So now we have your difficult times. So when we say difficult times, these are the days that we have problems. Okay. Difficult so times. Now, I'm going to make a sentence using difficult times. Here it is. Um, during my difficult times in college, I had one classmate who helped me. Make a sentence using difficult times. Yes, I know it. Very good. Now, what is your sentence using difficult times, Lynn? Uh, people, people help me in difficult times. Very good. Okay, and you know what? We really can trust people who help us in the in our difficult times. Okay. Now, next we have here hang out. So when we say hang out, this is when we uh go outside or we spend time with them. Uh, All right. Uh, For example, uh, I like to hang out with my friends. On weekends. Okay, make a sentence too. with hangout. Wow, very good. So where do you I hang like, out with your friends? I like hang out with my friend in primary school in weekend. Wow, that's great. Okay, now next we have have a party. When we say have a party, this is when you celebrate something. So when we have a party, we have Cake, balloons, music, uh, food. 
Okay, my sentence is tomorrow we will have a birthday party for my brother. What's your sentence? Uh, tomorrow I don't have a party in in um in in February in twenty sixth February I have a birthday party. Wow. Oh, so you are a February baby too. You know what? My birthday is February 28th. Yes. Okay. So what did you have on your birthday last February 26th, Lynn? Mm, I go out eat with my family and eat Talk with my friends. Very good. Okay. Now next we have have a chat. So when we have a chat with someone, we talk to them or have a conversation with them. So now I want to have a chat with my long lost friend. What's your sentence? Mm, I have a chat. With my family and friend in my classroom. Very good. Okay, now next we have it is impossible to do something. When we say it is impossible to do something, that means um, you lose hope in doing something because it is, uh, you think, you believe that it will not happen. Okay, so now. It is impossible to climb Mount Everest because it's very high. What's your sentence? Mm, I lost my mom and I don't. Um, it is impossible to 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 find. To, yes, to find mom. Very good, Lean. All right. Now, Liam, let's continue with this. So I'm going to ask you questions about the text. Does Lan know her question. name as well? Question is, uh, does Lan know her name as well? Oh, uh, it's, uh, one is... Oh, the question is document. What do you mean document? A document land talk about neighbors and now talk about neighbors. Oh, yes. Okay. This I don't question... remember documents. Oh, you don't remember it. That is all right. Okay, so this time, let's just talk about your neighbors. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, so do you live in a city or in the countryside? I live in a city. Very good. Are your neighbors friendly? Yes, my neighbor is so friendly. That's great to know. Do you often meet your neighbors? Um, no, because my neighbor is busy with my work and I don't often meet my, my neighbors. Great. Okay, so when you meet your neighbors, okay, if there's a chance that you meet your neighbors, what do you often talk about? I'm talk, uh, I'm talk, I'm talk my school and my school in math. Wow, very good. So here you can say, I talk about my school. I talk about my school. Very good. Okay. Are you close to any of your neighbors? Uh, 
Um, are you close to any of neighbors? Um, yes, I have close neighbors. Very good. Okay, so now what do you like about your neighbors? Um, I like my neighbors in so she's so friendly and and funny. That's great. Okay, what do you dislike about your neighbors? Um, I don't dislike my neighbors. Very good. Do you often help each other? Each other? Do you often help each other? No. Uh, I I play with neighbors in weekend and I don't help each other. Oh, I see. Okay, so what are the differences between neighbors in a city and neighbors in the countryside lane? Mm, um, I like neighbors in the countryside because neighbors in the countryside have a tailhood and I like tailhood. Wow, okay, that's great. So now, um, you know what? They said that most of the neighbors in the countryside are very friendly too. Why? Because they don't do so much things in their life. Most of them stay at home, so they know each other so well. They have a chat, they help each other, they even share blessings with their um on the neighborhood. Okay, so me, I live in the countryside lane. And oh, it's not really a countryside. It's like a suburban or suburbs. Okay, far, I, um, it, I live in a city, but a little away from the main city, but not a countryside at all. It is a combination of a countryside and a city. That is suburbs. This is the word. Hold on. Okay, so I live in a suburb, suburban. Okay, um, so here, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I live in a city, but I live in a capital in Vietnam. Wow, what's the capital of Vietnam? Is it Hanoi? Yes. Oh, I see. Very good. So what? Other cities are there in Vietnam? Ho Chi Minh, what else? Uh, Ho Chi Minh, uh, Cà Mau, mm. Nghệ An, mm. uh, Hà Tĩnh. Okay. And a lot of uh, oh. city hall. City for a uh, is mm -hmm. um, it, in Vietnam have sixty four city brown vines. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have province. Yes. Okay. So yeah, um city is big. Okay. But you know, some some of the city belongs to or some of the cities are part of a province. Just like me. My city is in the province. Mm, Suburb in Vietnam. Uh-huh. Mm, suburb suburb I don't know I re I remember is Hating uh -huh. oh, oh so there are a lot of cities in Vietnam and suburbs right I really thought that there are only six or five like that <laughs> but anyway thank you for sharing that one Lin okay so Lin before I let you go it's already time do you have any question no. 
Okay, so I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye, Lin. Have a good night. Bye bye, teacher. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye, teacher.